Folks, we're here for the Fisher's Farm LLC Retirement Auction in Grand Junction, Colorado for February 26th. We've had this little Polaris on the internet, but we've never had a, a video of it actually running. And so we wanted to get this video and see if we could give it to you guys so you can see the little Polaris in action here. So it's a, it's a 500 HD Sportsman. It does have, as you can see, it says on-demand all-wheel drive right here. And when you look at the top, we've got a high-low if I can get that to focus for you. A high, low, neutral, uh, reverse, and park. You can see it's got a pull start here on the side. It's got the racks on both the front and the back. Guys, the tires on this are pretty good all the way around. Um, looks like they are, it says AT25 by 8-12 on the front. And it says AT25 by 10-12 on the back. And so just, again, just want to kind of give you a quick walk around on this machine, and then we'll we'll fire it up so you guys can hear it run. Uh, I assume it will start on the electric start. If not, I'll get it started. I'll probably have to shut my video off and get it started because I haven't even tried it yet today to see if it'll start. Uh, you can see it's got the automatic again. We've got high-low and, and whatnot on the other side of this little guy. So uh, from a body perspective, when you look at the, the fiberglass all the way around, guys, pretty good shape, actually. Uh, this little four-wheeler does not look like a bad four-wheeler at all. I, I don't know what year it is. We don't have a title. That's the most important. Please realize we do not have titles. But you can see he's registered this. They use it all the time here around the place. So I have to believe that this little four-wheeler is in good shape. So what I'm going to do, we're going to see if we can't get this little guy to fire up for you right here. And, uh, and give you a little demo of it running. And if I can cover this up, we'll see what it says here for... If that dash is going to turn on. Well, it started right up. I'm going to have to see if I can move this into a different light, guys. That dash isn't showing me a whole lot right there. So we're going to put the little guy in reverse. if they were running this earlier today or not guys that little thing fired right off that's, that's kind of impressive how easy that started and um guys the the display is not good on this i think that says 6300 miles maybe it looks like it says 6333 how accurate it is I, I i just don't know guys i apologize but um We'll, we'll go ahead and buzz around here on this. So I think we're in high right here. And I don't, or excuse me, I think we're in low. So the brake on the right, the foot brake, doesn't do a lot. And the handbrake works really, really well. brake works really good guys but the other brake not so much I can't seem to get that into high range, guys. Um, I don't think that's in high range. Well, maybe I gotta do this. Oh, let's do that. Hang on a second, guys. I'm learning as I go here. It says you gotta hold the foot brake to get it into high range. I just saw that. It says you gotta hold the foot brake to get it into high. So normally I was getting it right there, guys, which is low. But if I hold the foot brake, now it goes into high.
There we go, guys. That's why I couldn't get it into high. So, that's a little four-wheeler. I'll let you guys kind of hear it run here. So, hopefully that helps you guys kind of get a feel for what this little machine is like. See, both headlights are working. Tail light is working. Looks like a pretty straight little Polaris, guys. So that's what we got for you. We'll get this posted so you guys can see it and let me know if you have questions.